Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a Lego room tour, so I hope you enjoyed the video. So first we need to make this clean because it's dirty. This is Dave, he's my new pal. It's Fred, he's also one of my pals. Now that all of this is clean, I can now give you a tour. So, let's get into the tour. First, we have this chair for little kids to sit in with a drill on it, because I just never got to picking it up. Then we have my picture wall. She's got some of the uh, um, Avengers little comic book magazine things they used to make. Some stuff from Battle Bricks. Another one of those comics, another one. That's from Battle Bricks. Poster. Just a mock idea I had, you know. All right there. Then, there's usually a table here, but it's gonna be gone till like January. Under here, I store sets that I need to finish building that I've started building and sets that I need to review along with sets that I've taken out of storage temporarily or sets that I have no nothing to do with. This is old party decoration with the marbles that are just right there. Right here we have a Halloween decoration that I had Baby Yellow on. Now this just kind of sits here in the storage. Uh, so that was that corner. Now on to this side. So, right here, I have this red bin. This is where I put my Lego sets. So I've got two there, three here, some displayed stuff. Got a tank, the Spec Ops helicopter, the crates, you know, all that good stuff. Up here I have sets that I need to repair. Some boxes of Lego sets I'm saving, Baby Yoda. Then I've got my Star Wars shelf. So this has the Kashyyyk, um, uh, what's it called, ATRT. Got the whole set, the 20th anniversary banner that came with it is right there. And so, on to the next one. So, right here we've got some micro fighters because I used to collect these. So, uh, I have an A-Wing that came with the, uh, actually no, A-Wing that came with Kylo's ship, which I gave away Kylo's ship. I have TIE Fighter. I have the, um, oh, what was this called? I have the Micro Fighter pack. Came with a uh, C-3PO, an R2-D2, and the Drop Pod, and the uh, Sand Trooper. Zori Bliss Micro Fighter. Hera Micro Fighter. Got the uh, Vader. A doggo. Got a figure. That's a uh, bullet that got made into a bottle cap. We also have the micro fighter of a Wookiee gunship. We have the uh, Luke and Leia scene right there. One of my personal favorites, Anakin and Obi-Wan dueling. And then we got this Death Star scene with Obi-Wan and that Death Star trooper. Up here we have the Corporate Alliance tank. You can see them right there. I don't have the figures that came with it, but it's still a pretty cool set. Also, I recently picked up the uh, Star Wars advent calendar for this year. That I am going to be opening during December. Probably not doing a review. Unless I get like a comment or a suggestion from someone, I should do it. Just because I feel like it'd just be like a pain. So I'd have to take it everywhere with me since I have two different households. Um, got some. I got Nerf bin back here. I don't usually show this. Hold on. I got some sets on display in here. I got the Orbiter versus Master Chief set. And then over here, I have some Arctic stuff. So you can see that I've got the uh, speeder or whatever it is. The mammoths because I got the big set. Some more of the figures with the snowmobile. Some really cool turkey feathers. I got this. I don't know the name of most of these Arctic sets, so I'm just kind of gonna casually show you guys them. And then if I continue going back here, I've got a little bit of Jurassic World stuff, including this, which should be here. 
There's this. And then I keep blankets out here for during the winter because it gets very cold. So I got some blankets. Got some cool boots. Actually, those might fit me now. Yeah, those might fit me now. Uh, here's my Lego City. I will be coming out with a Lego City tour, but first I'm going to need to do another update. So I'm going to get it in the Christmas spirit because, you know, still on Halloween. You can tell by the skull. But, uh, so there's my Lego City. Got a plane flying, monster truck, the super cool tailgate, and uh, some vehicles on it that are displayed. Back here I have all my walkers. I have my ATST, my homing spider droid. And my AT, my ATAP, I believe it is. Got some baseball figures I've always had out here. A cool picture. Some posters. Or not posters, some pictures. See, they're 10. Um, also got the super cool poster. Under this table, these are all uh, stuff, like I said, that need to be sorted. Or that need to be put on the shelf of shame for display. Because I have nothing to do with them right now. Uh, don't mind these. These, this is another bit of parts that I'm just gonna put here that I forgot about. There we go, that's where it needs to go. Wookie Catamaran. It's very much falling apart, but it still is kind of cool. And then we will continue to the next part. So I guess we'll start with my piece organization. So I have this cart here, it's got three shelves, it's on wheels. Up here I have some unsorted pieces that still needed to get sorted out into there, which I'll talk about later. Got some uh, Lego sets that are just being stored right here. Under here another Lego set along with some stickers and scissors and other things. I'm trying to get the best angle for you guys, but I can't really get a good angle, so sorry about that. I mean, maybe through here, kind of. Then I've got my review station. So this is where you see me review all my sets. I pull up a folding chair to here, and I'll sit right this with my phone propped. And if you guys never were able to tell, that's actually a outdoor furniture cushion that I use as my background. And this is just on two of those, like, tables that you would use to eat food on a couch or something. Right here, I have a, a dartboard. The most important part are the figures I have, like the uh, Spawn CQC, Spawn Operator, Lang, all the Yap Yap the Destroyer, I believe that is, Flame Marine, Brute, and then the rules. But I'm going to come out with a review of the Spartan Operator and the Spartan CQC and Lang. But anyways, sorry if this video is moving a little fast. I just, uh, on a bit of a time crunch. Now I'll show you my piece organization. So I recently got some new stuff that, so I haven't done an update, so I'll just tell you guys quickly. Obviously, I got all these bins. This is where I'm going to be putting some of my Lego sets because they're stackable and they'll store better. I've got this also to put Lego sets in, so like I broke down some of my construction stuff and it's in there. This is for extra figures, and I'll tell you why I got this one in a minute. But I'm assuming you want to know what's in it. So this is like a baseball figure that fell out of the space. But I don't know which space, so it's just in there for now. But this is going to be for figures. This is some Technic pieces. I have more, but these are just the ones that I caught to sort into here. Pinks and purples, uh, some notable pieces are the wheels. I also have this stuff. Um, so it's like stickers, nets. These are like play feature pieces, printed pieces, cloth pieces, rubbery pieces like this barbed wire. These are my Lego figure accessories. So it's weapons, backpacks for Mega Constructs, you know, all that good stuff. Some construction cones, some, you know, signs. I'll just give you guys a little view of that. This is like 
armor and visor pieces and stuff. So not much to say about that one. Favorite bin because of how it looks. So that's this. That shouldn't be in there. All of this other stuff is translucent pieces. See? Look at all of that. My favorite view of it is from in here because it's all the way filled up. That's cool. Uh, actually, we'll get to that part. This is figures and what's left of figures. You know, not much to say about this. It's just broken figures. So this is vehicle pieces, like tops of roofs, wheels, tracks, all that stuff. Um, sorry about that. In here, this is just not all of them, but some of my detailing plates, you know, like, say I want to make some rubble, I got some gray studs. I think this might be a piece of money. Oh, no, this is a plain green tile. Here is my, uh, yellows. We've got some yellow-orange. Or, not yellow-orange. It's just a darker yellow compared to, like, the bright yellow. So this is all my yellows. There's all, for some reason, a Lego figurehead in here that I'm trying to get right now. Five minutes, but I finally got it. Oh, nope, that's definitely the wrong one. So yeah, that's my yellows. Right here's my greens along with force pieces. An army man I threw in here because I was being lazy. Okay, I've got orange, which mainly consists of piece stick aparters. This isn't even all of them. Hold on. This is what most of my orange drawer is. This is just a piece take apart, or but an orange piece, and it just fits in here. Getting a printed piece that I didn't even know existed, so. Empty. Empty. Construction stuff. This is my browns and tans. I got some extra base plates. This, I think, I'm going to use for a mock. That I'm gonna make for Mock Monday, cause I'm doing a Mock Monday. I'm doing it, I'm finally gonna do another one. This is my grays, blacks, and whatever you wanna call this color. Not a lot to say about this, there's just a lot of pieces. These, this is whites and blues. I've got a lot of blue base plates. Not as much white and blue, though, as I thought I would actually have. Here are my reds. You can see I got some dark reds, some just like random pieces, like this orange that somehow ended up in here. But not as many also as I thought I was going to have. And then this is a big drawer for Lego stuff. So, that's chaos. Sorry, there's just some pieces that aren't supposed to be in here. That I'm just trying to put back quickly. Plus, I don't think you guys might see me on camera. It's kind of like behind the scenes. Okay. So, you know that one right there that I said was for figures? This is why. So, this is most of if most, if not all of my Lego figures. And unless I get extra ones that I have nothing to do with, I've only got two extra spaces. So that is what that's for. So up here I have most of my battle droids I have. A crocodile and then some Minecraft figures. Right here I have the Empire. I tried to make it match to so like snow troopers, then uh, snow ATAT -AT driver, and then storm troopers. That one doesn't have a helmet. I've got three death troopers, pretty cool figures. I got a um, ah, oh, what's it called? One of those imperial imperial gunners, 
Another death trooper. I'll switch those around quickly. Hold on. Sorry about that. I switched that, so now this guy's with those other death troopers. That's the Imperial Gunner, Imperial Officer, Imperial Officer, Darth Vader. This guy, whoever he is, if anyone knows, please tell me. But you know he's Star Wars. Darth Sidious. This is Darth Sidious also. And I got Rebels, so I got, oh, what's his name? The guy from Rogue One with the big gun. I got that guy. Some Rebels that look like they're from The Last Jedi at that last scene. And then I got some, like, actual Rebels from the uh, battle pack that came out when Rogue One did, 2018. And then I got some my, some of my clones. I got the old ones. I got the old Bly. These are my favorites because they're just old, you know, cool. I got a lot of knockoff clone troopers that I just realized were knockoff. But we don't talk about that. So. Oh yeah, that's a 2014 clone. Normal clone. How did I? Hold on. Actually, no. This is where I made custom 501st. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, and then we got one, not one, but two wolf pack clones. One is actually just a gunner. One's actually the wolf pack. Wait a second, hold on. So you guys know how I told you that this guy without the helmet was the 2014? Well, that was his helmet because this guy was custom with the 2014 face. I just figured I deserved to fix that for the fans. Sorry about all this on the camera. I should have checked m more thoroughly before. Sorry about my stuttering. Now I got Kashyyyk clones. They're pretty self-explanatory as long as you've seen the movies. Into Geonosis clones, which are self-explanatory. Unless you have not seen the Clone Wars, which then we'll have problems. There you got Wookiees, Wookiees, Wookiees. Original Chief Tarfton, Chief Tarfton. Original Chewbacca. Original Luminara, I got uh, whoever she is, I can't remember her name, Bear Safi, Original Yoda. Then I got Emmett, Kai, Bad Cop, Red Skull, Kyrie, whoever he is, if anyone knows who this guy is, please tell me. That's where the baseball figure I showed you guys actually belongs. Whoever he is, Celtics number four, off the top of my head, I don't know who he is. I got Scooby-Doo Zombie from one of the Scooby-Doo sets. Hold on, I'll focus it. Got some uh, NASA figures, that robot. One of the trainers, one of the cadets. The welder. Then I've got the uh, one lava figure. An astronaut, an astronaut, an astronaut. Cadet, astronaut, cadet, worker, 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 lava, worker, 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 worker. And then a uh, Claire, empty. I have this table, which you guys have seen. It's just my display table. And this is going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, well, may the force be with you. Goodbye.